you peeps hope you all enjoyed the last video and i'm kind of hoping uh, i think i'm at the stage now where i'm out of fucks to give with regards any sort of algorithm that youtube um uses in order to uh, depopulize yeah make people unpopular or just make them totally fucking invisible um you know like i said I, i've never really advertised a channel so on the one hand it's kind of not really surprising that i don't get many subscribers on the other it's kind of is what it is right so this one i'm going out on the going out on it i'm going all out fuck it i'll get there in a minute uh so i've spoken a bit about what's been going on the last couple of years now nearly a couple of years since 2020 right and uh <laughs> i've spoken a lot about gaslighting over the years right and the way it's done the different tactics people generally speaking people i'm not talking about people anymore i'm talking about media now i'm calling it out for what it is because i'm fucking sick of it right um <laughs> i don't even know where to start so i uploaded my last video which was uh, wouldn't it be nice to relationships red pill right and i tend to listen back to them once maybe twice um once they've uploaded just to make sure that all is as I want it to be sort of thing and of course I get I get to see uh, all these other wonderful things um, adverts like we all do right? I'm, I'm using my mobile or cellular phone whatever the fuck you call it and it, it's actually quite telling what they're planning next and look you can call me suspicious as fuck what, whatever I don't I literally don't care. Let's just sit back, grab some popcorn and watch the shit show pan out, shall we? So, we've got Sky News. They've got a brilliant comment section. If ever you need feeling better about yourself, go to the comment section. You've always got people in there taking the piss out of them. Rightly so. Uh, I'm not going to go into any watching any videos or listening to what they have to say. I'm just going to comment. Uh, uh, this is where my lack of... English skills really shows. Is it ad verbatim? I think. Uh, basically, I'm just going to read the title and give my thoughts on it. What we got coming. What actually caught my attention prior to this one uh, was <laughs> they're talking about what one of the ministers in Westminster uh, going on about uh, that there's going to be no cap on gas prices now by gas over here we're, we're not referring to petrol gas as in petroleum uh, we talk about the actual gas for central heating and cooking where that's still a thing where it applies so they're not going to put a cap on how much they can charge up to right think think about that right think about that what it's telling you right they're not going to tell they're not going to put a cap on so they, they can't hold a company responsible for overcharging its customers whilst at the same time in the same sentence they said but we think that they should have enough gas to supply throughout the winter so what are the things that do we think are coming well we all we've already been warned about overpricing in terms of what we're getting charged for gas and electricity but now they're also going to be able to use this air quotes excuse as a means to regulate and uh, I see it as punishing us over something that is now by us I mean us citizens um, and I don't mean the uh, air quotes elite which are the government right? let's be real let's just fucking call it out for what it is they're the elite we're the fucking pond scum right let's let's, let's no more fucking bullshit right we know where we stand we know where it's at why do you think there's you know I've had so much to say about freedom of speech over the last couple of years. Why do I keep telling you it's also important to have? And, you know, as far as people like, uh, I know it's Scotland and it doesn't really apply, but as far as Scotland is, is concerned and um, human rights, as Count Dankula would put it, they tend, you know, especially, uh, <laughs> I'm paraphrasing this one, Nicola Sturgeon, 
seems to wipe her ass with human rights. <laughs> it's a great toilet paper, even if you haven't run out and you're not in the middle of a pandemic. <laughs> must be must be brilliant. Must be absolutely fantastic. I, I wouldn't know what it's like living that lifestyle. But anywho, uh, on a sort of a side note, um, that saying of money doesn't make you, you know, it doesn't make you happy. Um, I bet the prick that said that wasn't struggling to pay his bills or her bills, whichever, uh, rent and all of this. So I, I bet they didn't have that problem in the first place. I, I'm just saying. So anyway, I suppose we can expect to see uh, household electricity gas prices go through the roof and the government is saying that's going to be fine and they might even you know just just fuck with us a little bit more because fuck it why not you know sky news so flu and covid19 i, I, I love this when they, they, they've done it again twindemic it's got it's got it right here Tw twindemic right it's that's what it says twindemic could hit uk what have I talk, What have I been talking about with regards to narcissism and the way them fuckers operate? They tell you what they're doing as they're doing it, or prior to before they, you know, prior to them doing it. That is how they do it. Um, you know, uh, and obviously this. I mean, this this is admittedly this the CV nineteen news. Uh, oh, and of course, you're not allowed to have a, a dissenting voice that goes against the narrative. So if you're um, not necessarily in a line with, say, vaccinations, um, you're not allowed to talk about it because fuck you reasons. <laughs> you know, you're, you're, you're probably just some some stupid, uneducated, you know, and why, why the fuck should you talk about it? Fuck you. You know, how, how dare you? How, who, who the fuck do you think you are to go up against it? Do, do, do you know who they are? Fuck you, peasant. Get, get, get back to the marshlands and go and dig through the swill. Fucking idiots. But yeah. Oh, here's another good one. Why flu deaths could be the worst for 50... Uh, could be worse for 50 years. That's from the Telegraph from two days ago. Um... Again, do your research, please, please, I'm fucking begging you guys, do some fucking research, right? Look back to between, tw oh, fucking remember, I've, I've got it dug out, in one. Of, it's in one of the videos, I might have to dig it out, and I've said I've done that in the past, and I haven't done, uh, but it's one of them where I actually put in a link uh, within the description, I've probably made the video private, because reasons, because what the fuck would I know what I'm talking about, you know, it's, you know, <laughs> Just because you're not qualified in something, this is the thing that really fucks me off, right? Is because some people don't hold a qualification in something, it immediately disregards any found information that you know that could well be valid. They just immediately just just beat them with the stupid stick straight away and just push them to one side. It's just sort of like, yeah, yeah, all right, and. You know, it goes, it kind of gets the narrative. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, I've got red lists, what's been taken off. Well, f most of us in the UK, uh, I say most of us, I'm talking about the, the, the sort of peasants, um, <laughs> the non-middle class. I mean, you know, it, it, it come on a side note, this uh, conversation I had with uh, an acquaintance years ago, and they were trying to convince me that we are actually like my generation and themselves and everything. Oh, that 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 we are middle class. It's like are you having a fucking laugh. Maybe he was middle class, but I'm sure as fuck ain't. You know. Um. It, it would be nice. Does that mean I have more money? Fuck it. I'll take the label if I get the money. How's that? You know, but I don't want to work for the money. Has I don't want to put the hours. I was just just entitlement. Give just just give me money because fuck you reasons, right? Uh, it's almost worth faking a degree that I didn't get from Eton. Just just to get the label, just so I can get the free money. Obviously, it doesn't work like that. I'm just saying that I go do stupid shit like that. Um. 
Uh, gas prices, MP pressure, government on fuel costs. Well, yeah, I mean, again, we've seen the whole <sighs> fuel driver supposed crisis uh, where, again, this is where, this is how, in my opinion, they use situations and they miss, they deliberately misrepresent words like capitalism. Right. This, this is, in my opinion, this is why so many people think communism is better than capitalism because the way they use the wording is like, oh well, this company is capitalizing on the fact that um, I use petrol stations just for argument's sake. Uh, so obviously, with regards no one being able to go out last year, which meant fuel stocks uh, start going stale after a amount of time. So. If someone decides that there's an air quotes shortage of it, people then tend to, to get a bit panicky, you know, get a little bit flirty, um, not in that sort of sense. Uh, maybe, I suppose, uh, uh, tetchy is probably the word. And so they go out and panic by, and then the, the companies get to, in this sense, capitalise on the fact that everyone is panic buying. Uh, toilet roll last year, £45 for six rolls, just saying. Uh, they knew what they were doing. You know, Amazon... Guilty is charged, uh, although they were never charged for it, but yes, they are guilty of it. Um, you know, you, you <laughs> telling users not, not to sell toilet roll and uh, at a certain price because that was morally wrong, and then they went and did the exact same thing. No one called them out on it. They weren't held. This is, this is my point. No one holds these fuckers to account. Ever. It's like, we were... We watch films and, and we, we hear expressions like untouchables and it's like, we think they're gangsters and they're like, this, this is underground. They're, they're not. They're in Westminster. They're in Westminster right now. Well, not right now. Uh, they're, they're probably uh, devising their next bit of fuckery to throw on the rest of us. And what can, oh, oh that was it. There's, there's a bit of a, a ding dong about Boris going on holiday. I, I'm sure he's had it real difficult. Go out, but don't go out. See your friends, but keep a keep a good distance. If any of your friends or family relatives die, you're not allowed to go and see them, and they can't see anyone else, so they have to die alone. But no, he deserves a holiday. Oh, 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 oh! Hang on, not not forgetting, hooked up with his bird <laughs> when they weren't living together. Eh, that's fine. Anyone else? Fuck you! You're a criminal. You get penalised. You get. Do you, do you see the fuckery? Do you see the fuckery now? I mean, it's such a shame. It's such a shame. And look, I'm not the first person to do this. I get that. I just don't understand why there's so many other people out there that won't open their fucking eyes to everything. Everything. If you've gone and got your flu jab, when was that ever 100% effective on 100% of the people? Never. Ever wondered why the flu doesn't affect some people? And I'm talking about H1N1 strain, right? I'm not talking about anything special that's come about since last year. I'm talking about the general annual flu that we get. Oh, it just doesn't affect some people because guess what? They've got a national healthy immune system. Imagine that. But no, no, with, with this thing and... Yeah. Oh, yeah, you've got to have this. And if you want freedoms, then you've got to do that. It's just fear tactics. You know, there's... I'm, I'm going to quote, you know, since uh, I tend to bring a bit of my personal influences and interests in. Fear Factory, the metal group, right, brought out an album many, many years ago called Fear is the Mind Killer. How true is that? How insane can people drive themselves being afraid of the unknown, what they don't know. Fear is the mind killer. It really is. But I mean, I, I don't, I don't know what else I can do or say. I mean, like I try and have conversations with people sometimes, and just try and get a general gist of it, see where they're coming from and get their opinions. Maybe because look, maybe I am wrong. I mean, you know, maybe the, does it not just look a bit sus? I'm just saying. I mean, it. it's not like the government 
were ever really caught out, you know, buying shit that they didn't need for their second homes, paying off their mortgages and renting houses out to, to Tom, Dick and Harry's and buying duck ponds and I've covered these videos in the past. I've spoken about all of this fuckery and a lot of it was Labour government. I just, and look, I don't like any of them for the most part. They're all lying fuckers and I think that they should all be on like, they, they, they shouldn't be doing what they're doing. As in, by that I mean politics. Um, they'd probably be better sweeping the roads, if I'm honest. But, as always, with power comes responsibility. But, with also, with with power <laughs> comes the opportunity of being a tyrannical son of a bitch. And then when you start scaring people... You know, it's like people could point the finger and say, oh, but dude, you know, you're, you're this, that, you're, you know, you're crazy saying all these things. Crazy. Listen, right? I'm not one of them fuckers gluing myself to a road, fucking stopping ambulances getting to scenes of emergencies. Right? I'm just saying. I'm not them. I'm not doing that shit. But anyway, look, fuck it. I'm done with this one for now. Uh, see if I can get kicked off shall we <laughs> anyway make of it what you will thoughts, comments and opinions feel free to jot it down as always it'd be lovely to hear back and look I do get it I'm probably going to end up having to go to another platform at some point right um, try and code word in your your, your messages uh, in your comments if you've got anything to say um, until the next one oh hang on no there was one more thing actually um so October 10th was supposed to be National Mental Health Day. How fucking good is that? You've driven half the country fucking crazy with their fuckery and now they want a day to recognise what they've done. <laughs> That's just, that is literally, literally as good as the BBC doing a documentary on Jimmy Savile. Literally as good as that. Till the next one. Peace out.